Hey everybody, this is Greg with Doc Lights for Less and DocLightsForLess.com. Today we're going to show you how to install a photocell switch on your Magnum Doc Light so that way when the sun goes down, it comes on, the sun comes up, it goes off. Real simple to do. You'll need about, uh, I'd say about 20 bucks in parts and you're good to go. Sometimes you can even find it for less than that. Tools you're going to need. A drill. I use step bits as drill bits because I don't have to keep changing the drill bits out. One size works all, but if you go to Harbor Freight, they sell the kit for free. It's not too expensive. Step bits, the way you go. You can need a pair of wire strippers. Use whatever you have. You know, you can use a knife or scissors, depending on what you have. You might want to get some wire strippers. You're going to need some silicone. Make sure it's a good type of silicone that can handle all weather. I use 3M Marine silicone. You need wire nuts. I use the red ones because that's what it calls for. They're the right size. They are color coded so when you go to Home Depot you can get the red ones. And you might need a couple cable ties. So cable ties, also known as zip strip, strip ties, whatever you want to call them. That's what they are. Alright, as far as our photo cell is concerned, we have the Utilitech 006311. Uh, you can get these at Lowe's. Like I said, we use Utilitech. They're fantastic. We've tried many other photo cell switches and they either didn't work properly or didn't work very long. And you also need a junction box. This can be found in the same aisle usually as the photo cell timer or at least a dial over too. Notice we got the ones that have the threads on the at the ends. So it's threaded to accept stuff. So what we do is we drill a hole approximately three eighths or larger in the top thread well. Make sure you don't hit the threads with your drill bit or you could mess up the, the threads. At the bottom you want to drill two holes, not in the thread well, just two holes. It's a little over a quarter of an inch, just big enough for the cable to go through. Alright, and you also need a cover. This is a metal plate cover. They also make these in plastic as well. This one is painted and it says right on the front, suitable for wet locations. You probably can't see that, but it's right there. Alright, here's what you want to do. After you have this drilled out, and you have the top drilled out, Take your photo cell, grab the wires, go ahead and just shove them in the hole right there. Alright, slide it up like this. You want to take a little dab of your silicone. So what this does is also, it makes it easy to get into the threads and it also keeps the water out. You just need a little dab, not too much. Alright, go ahead and grab this. And just thread it on there. If you try to do this without silicone, this is very, very hard. You just want to twist it enough so it's nice and snug and you're not squishing that little seal right there. Alright, notice you got your wires in here. Looks good. Alright, next thing you want to do, take your wire. Let's say this is a whole unit. This is your plug. You got your plug. You got your light. Go ahead and figure out, I usually cut it about two feet down from the plug. There you go. I cut it, I've spliced it, and I've stripped the wire so we're good to go. What you want to do, take one end, stick it in the hole you drill at the bottom. Go ahead and feed it through. Pull it in just enough so you can work with it. Then you're going to want to do the exact same thing on the sides of the light. Just feed the two wires through. Try to at least. There you go. All right, now here's where the wire nuts come in. If you'll notice, there's a lot of wires in here. Don't let that confuse you. It's not that hard. When you buy your photo cell switch, you're going to get a diagram either on the back of the package or in a little pamphlet that comes with a little thing. This is really not that hard. It's very diagrammed. You can't mess it up. All right, what you want to do I've done plenty of these, so I can almost do it by memory, but I do have a diagram right here. Take your, all your white wires, and then you group all your white wires together, like so. Just give it a twist. Bring over your other white wire. Give it a twist. 
soon. Get one of your wire nuts. Go ahead and thread that on there. Make sure you twist it enough to where you can't pull it off. All right, next, you want to take your black from the power source, which is your cord that comes in. Make sure you get the right one. This is my cord coming in. This is the black. The black from the cord coming in, also known as your power source, is going to go to the black of your light control, also known as your photo cell switch. All right, thread those together. Take your wire nut, slide it on. All right, now you have a red wire coming out of your photo cell switch. That is going to go to the black wire of your light. Here we go. Let's see. I know the light comes in here, runs up here, trace it right there. Do the same thing. Just wrap it like this. Grab your wire nut and just go ahead and thread it on. Sometimes if it doesn't hold on, you got to bend the end of the wire just a little bit so that it has enough to grab. Or you could use a smaller wire nut if you so desire. But I have plenty of these laying around my office, so we're going to go with this one for now. All right, now what you do, go ahead and pull these back a little bit. Make sure you can tuck this down in here safely and it's not going to hit any of these posts in here. What I like to do for good safety measures so you can't pull it out easily or you can... As I said, you might need a wire tie. If you so desire, that's what I do. Makes it real simple. You simply feed it through underneath the wires. All right, grab it like so. And simply pull it as hard as you can until the two wires touch each other. Then you get your wire cutters. Cut the excess off. Take your plate. I'm not taking it out of the package yet, but it comes with screws. Real easy to do. Make sure everything's nice and tucked down, nothing's come undone. Put your plate on, screw it down, there you go. One photo cell switch. Notice it has these handy dandy tabs on each side, so you can mount it to any surface you wish. This is now not 100% waterproof, but it is very water resistant. They have a choice of plastic or metal photo cell timer switches in this design. Always get the plastic if you can, because they're a much better unit. Don't get me wrong, the metal one is good too, but if you live anywhere near salt like a corrode, it will corrode. At the bottom, wires, nice and tight, not going anywhere. And let's say condensation does build up in there, it can, enter, it can exit through those two bottom holes, right around the cord. And there you go, nice and snug. You just added a photo cell timer to your Magnum dock light. And this has been Greg with Doc Lights for Less. We thank you for tuning in, and be sure to check back as we do more tutorials in the future. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please give me a call at 631-0431, area code 772, or look me up on the website at doclightsforless.com. There you can shoot me an email. We thank you very much, and have a great day.